Hello team, greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB. This is Nirsh Kumar Singh and you are watching Agile Tester Certification. We are in the last topic of the chapter 2 looking at the role of a tester in Agile team. In the previous tutorial we went through the skills of a tester in Agile. Now we are looking at the role of the, uh, the tester within the Agile team. So we are just looking at the quick highlights about the same thing in more detail and understanding that what exactly a role of the uh, tester within the agile team would be to make sure uh, that we have a good collaboration and good testing happening within the project so generally a role of a tester in agile team includes activities to generate and provide feedback not only to the testators test progress product quality but also the entire process as well so let's see what more can be added to the understanding from the previous syllabus that is foundation uh, understanding implementing and updating the test strategy measuring and reporting test coverage across all applica applicable coverage dimensions, ensuring proper use of the testing tools, configuring, using and managing test environments and the test data, reporting defects and working with the teams to resolve them, coaching other team members in relevant aspect of the testing, ensuring the appropriate testing tasks are being scheduled during the release and the iteration planning, actively collaborating with the developers and business representatives to clarify the requirements, participating proactively in the team retrospective, suggesting and implementing the improvements. So it's not limited to what we have seen so far. We have more added responsibilities and extraordinary activities happening here, which a tester team or tester must be responsible for within the Agile team. Not only this, let's something look more for Within an Agile team, each member is responsible or each team member is responsible for product quality as well and plays a role in programming test-related tasks, uh, performing test-related tasks. Agile organization may encounter some test-related organizational risk as well which need to be addressed by the entire team and especially the tester. Tester works so closely to desktop developers that they lose the appropriate tester mindset sometime. We have been talking about so far that testers and developers are collaborating now unlike the traditional approaches we do not have any further independence but sometimes it becomes a risk for the agile team that they are working so closely that they start treating themselves as uh, developers or maybe they have so close interaction with the developers that they get into their shoes and they might uh, lose the sense of quality or sense of finding developers mistake because they have been working so closely with them and they understand what's happening and they may lose the sense of the tester so and if they lose the sense of the tester we are actually losing the protocol of independent testing so how far that is going to be fit so we need to make sure that though we work so closely with them, but we need to have a different psychology, different mindset compared to the developers because they are the creators and we are the destructors. At the end of the day, we should not forget that motto. Testers become tolerant for a silent and inefficient, ineffective or low quality practices within the team because they are now friends and they are working so closely with the team that if anything is not done, so they say, okay, fine, let's leave it. We will move to next. So sometimes they become tolerant to these things and silent about these insufficient information which are required for them because now they are with them being a team member so they think that okay it's going to be a problem for my team member rather than questioning them how is this not available or what is that which is required to be there testers cannot keep pace with the incoming changes in time constraint iterations sometimes you know development is so frequent several development changes are so frequent or the things have been so quickly integrated so frequently updated that the testers may lose the pace and they might be lagging behind and because of that again they can be blamed for delays in the iterations or maybe the task incomplete when the iteration ends so this might come back again from the basic understanding of testing psychology so we need to address these things but we are not saying that it is not just the testers responsibility to deal with this we are talking about every single member within the team to be responsible for these things and uh, take the contribution or add the values so that the testers can still behave like an independent testers and help them understand that okay fine no matter we are working together that uh, working as a good collaborative team but at the end you are trying to find my mistakes so you have always the testers mindset and look for what i can miss 
So it's not just the tester responsibility to keep away from them at certain point of time just because of the objective of testing. Sometimes the other team members like the business representatives and developers must add value to testers profile stating them to be aware of the quality to be determined in the product so that this independent testing concept can still be implemented no matter you are practicing agile. So that's all from here team. This is the last topic of this chapter. The next tutorial will be on the sample question from chapter two. So stay tuned for that and keep uh, exploring about whatever we discuss here. In case you have any query while doing that, feel free to comment below where I'll be here to assist you and address your queries at the same time. So thanks for watching the video team. Keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding. Till then, take care. Happy learning team.